io devo cominciare a suonare su questo sì. in realtà la cosa bella sarebbe quella che tento sempre e da sempre di fare io che nasco ogni mattina col risveglio e muoio ogni sera nel sonno perché il sonno, il sonno è che incredibilmente simile alla morte è una parola ostile per la parola morte io vorrei riformarla un po' eh? cosa si potrebbe dire invece di morte? di partita <ride> la dipartita e dipartita è innocente che non dire morto wow tutti i miei migliori amici sono morti penso my name is Francesco Quario and I'm the director of the short documentary Transforming Time. To me, learning that a cinema as beautiful and unique as Cinema Azzurro Scipioni was going to get closed and torn down was a moment of heartbreak, but also of inspiration. The cinema was founded by Silvano Agosti and named after the 1982 film produced by him and directed by Franco Piavoli entitled The Blue Planet or Il Pianeta Azzurro. During its run, the cinema has shown a selection curated by Agosti of over 300 films of historic, artistic, or to him, personal significance. It was also one of the few places where Roman cinema goers could go and watch foreign movies without Italian dubbing. In 2020, the closure of cinemas due to the COVID-19 pandemic has, among other reasons, put the last nail in the coffin of Cinema Azzurro. What we made is not a documentary on the history of this particular cinema, which is something that Agosti himself is producing on his own, nor is it a plea to save Cinema Azzurro, whose imminent demolition is, by now, inevitable. What we did was capture an aesthetic impression of the building and its owner, in order to preserve, mummified, the emotions and feelings that arise when visiting this fading place and others like it. We also want to craft a document that will allow you, the viewer, to ponder about the state of art house cinemas, whether they are dead, dying, or perhaps in need of reform and resurrection. We also interviewed Silvano Gosti, at first inquiring about his memories related to the cinema but then simply letting him talk for over 20 minutes, nearly uninterrupted. He shared many thoughts about cinema, the arts, authorship, death and sexuality. He also shared much of the theory he studied all the way back in the 1960s, providing us with a piece of history even older than the theatre itself. He didn't talk much about Cinema Azzurro, but that was likely due to the pain of having to say goodbye to something he built with such love. The film has already been shot, in about half a day and with rented equipment, and no matter what it is going to be edited. However, in order to make sure that this document reaches its maximum potential and is seen by as many people as possible, we need a budget. The budget is going to go towards making sure that all our collaborators our DOP, our actor and our editors are fairly remunerated. It will also go towards capturing additional footage, namely photographic and video evidence of the cinema after its closure. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, the budget is going to go towards distribution, to make sure that the film is sent to as many film festivals as possible and seen by many people, including yourself. Our hope is that you will love this film, whether you are a nostalgic cinephile mourning the death of cinema, or a hopeful progressive looking to learn from the mistakes of the past. Whether you agree with the philosophical musings of Silvano Agosti, 
or wish to listen to them as evidence of a reality separate to your own. Whether you believe that art house cinemas are dead, or that they will rise from their ashes and come back to haunt us, as they have done time and time again.